Manitoba has some of the most fertile soil in the world, but farmers still have to be attentive to their crops. They work long hours during the limited growing season with hopes of a great harvest. Here's a segment from Prairie Public's documentary series, Built on Agriculture. Ten thousand years ago, we would have been at the bottom of Old Lake Agassiz, and that's really sort of the base on which our soils in the Red River Valley have formed. We're living and working and farming on old lake bottom sediments, sediments that are really rich in clay, and these have lots and lots of nutrients. They can hold lots and lots of water, but man, they can be difficult sometimes because water doesn't flow through them very easily. They're very sticky when they're wet, but very productive, fertile soils. I'm Jim Jansen, and we're in St. Francis Xavier, Manitoba. We operate Windy Creek Farms. It's a family uh, farm operation. We're growing canola, red spring wheat, and soybeans. Yeah, here in Manitoba, we have a very short window. Our 110 to 120 day growing season. You gotta return a lot of the money back into the farm. Be careful on how much you take out personally. You have to be satisfied at some times with not very much. And after you've lost money per acre, it takes a while to get that back. The crop that we have this year is quite timely. After two tough years, a third one would not have worked very well for us. There's nobody that has control over the markets. There are factors throughout the world that affect everything that we grow is affected by worldwide circumstances. So, I mean, I, I find it interesting and challenging. Am I the world's greatest marketer? No. Uh, is it a game? You might think it is. People say if you're not growing, you're, you're not moving forward. We've come to a point in our operation, we've stayed around the 6,400 acres for the last 12 plus years. We're comfortable at that level, and instead of expanding, I would like to do a better job on those acres. Definitely farming is a business. There's just too much money involved. Yeah, I mean, there is a lifestyle. Nobody tells me when to get up in the morning or when to punch in or when to quit. That's up to me. And if you can't deal with that, if you need some supervision, <laughs> it's, uh, it's probably not gonna work. It's, it's not for everybody, but the field is open. You can always buy a farm somewhere. Farmers by nature, by their existence, they, they risk. They, I've yet to meet a farmer that fails to understand what risk is all about. Anybody that invests a lot of money and throws of, uh, all of the products that they buy onto the soil uh, with the great hope of reaping something from that is a risk taker. Farmers minimize their risk through knowledge and through active testing on their own. There's an old saying in risk management, if, if you don't manage your risks, they can very well end up managing you. It's a leap of faith to go into business uh, on your own, and farming is absolutely that. There are a lot of moving parts in developing an appropriate crop in an appropriate way without having an impact on the environment or your land base. Every year is an unknown. I'm Cam Henry. You're in Oak River, Manitoba, which is on the western side of the province and a little bit north of Transcanada. I'm a farmer and in the farming context uh, we're in the seed business. So we grow, process and retail seed. Uh, we're what you call in Manitoba Century Farm. So we go back to the early 1880s. So my grandfather was here first, my dad, myself, and now my daughter and son-in-law are farming with us. When I was young, I started in terrible times. I started in the late 60s. It was terrible times. We weren't making any money at all. And yet I saw nothing but opportunity. You know, and now we're in very good times. And when I'm looking around, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for the pitfalls, eh? You know, just as you get older, you get a little more conservative and you get a little more, you don't have as much time to catch up if you make a major mistake. 
In agriculture, as the more acres you apply to grain farming, the cost per acre to seed them of input costs is the same. So much fertilizer per acre, so much spray, so much seed, those things are the same whether you've got 100 acres or 1,000 acres or 10,000 acres. So you, you do put a lot of money out there at risk if the world turns against you. And the one thing that farming does have is it, it, you have to be willing to take risk. The biggest factor that affects how well my farm produces is the weather, and I can't control it. That's a tough game to be in. If the biggest influencing factor you can't control. Prairie Mosaic is funded by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money from the vote of the people of Minnesota on November 4, 2008. The North Dakota Council on the Arts and by the members of Prairie Public.